Hey, what's up, guys? Nothing but bags here, bringing you my another Warlords video. And as usual, I'm here with my good friend Iron Glory One. What's up? What's up? And today we have a new topic to talk to tell you guys about. Last episode, we talked about happy bunny stories. Emphasis on happy. Yeah, they were the most exciting bunny stories I could have ever talked about. I'll say. <laughs> anyway. So, the, today's topic is... Hamster Stories. Ham dead, I mean, hamsters. <coughs> my bad. Okay, <laughs> so... I think let's start off with my first story. Alright, whoa, no, bad. Oh, God. Get back here, you little piece of... Eh. <laughs> I'll see that occasional interruption of, you know, the game in the I'm get, I'll, I give up. I give up. I hope. Go away. Leave me alone. They're gonna get the flag. Are they? Yeah, they probably are. Oh man, there's a lot of you guys. Ooh, I'm gonna- I am dying. Anyway, back to the first story. So, mm -hmm. this first story goes back to, I wanna say, maybe four or five years ago. And, I was friends with this kid in my school. Let's just call him Mike. Cause that's what his name, I'm not gonna say his last name, even though he is a, a complete douchebag. So, when he was, you know, not a douchebag, pardon my French. Yeah, don't worry, I got this. I got the bleeping down pat. Okay, good. So when he wasn't, when he wasn't a douchebag, he was actually, you know, somewhat tolerable. And I used to, go, we all, I always used to go over to his house, and he he got hamsters. He got two hamsters. And his two hamsters had hamster babies. Mm. And we took, we got two of the hamster babies. They were like little, like midget, like, they're like midget hamsters. And we kept them in my sister's room. And this is, and one night, like, I want to say maybe like two or three weeks after we got them, Mike was over at my house. And that's when it all started. We go in to look on the hamsters, and we see that one of the hamsters was bleeding in the corner. The other hamster comes up and starts eating it, eating it. Oh my goodness! Yeah. This is guys. This is the first time I've ever heard this. So holy crap! So yeah. So hamster, the hamster, hamster family. You know, hamster siblings. Mm -hmm. Like one of them started eating up, eating the other one. We pulled it out, we took it out before, you know, it, you know, it was, you know, actually dead, dead. And it was just twitching, in, it, twitching in a little bowl. We didn't have a cat then, so, like, this isn't cat related, yet. So, we look at, we look, we take a, we clean it off, and we see that one of its ears is missing. It, it's, it's, foot's like down to a nub. And it's missing an ear. Did I already say that? Yeah. Oh. Well, the ear was the bloody part, so... I think it was also missing an eye. And the other hamster was just sitting there, it's like, I accomplished something. <laughs> I hate my family. I <laughs> Cannibalistic hamster potty. Woo. So... That ha So, the, can the cannibalized hamster, the one that was being eaten, died. We flushed it down a toilet. It was small, so. Then a few weeks, then a little, then a couple, about a, a, like a month later, that hamster also died. And wow, then, that's tragic. Do, would you like to tell your story now? Uh, yeah, I'll tell my story now. Uh, Christmas morning. My sister gets a hamster for her birthday. Uh, that hamster happened to be a pregnant hamster and also had hamster babies. Those hamster babies, not all of them lived. Um, the one most tragic or weird, it, it gave birth, and then the baby squirted blood out of its nose, like, two feet, two feet of squirting little blood through its little nose mouth. Nose awesome. Thing, and it died, just like that. 
Um, I think there were like three that survived. Is that it? Very sad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a short one. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm gonna have to find a way to make this last story, which is my favorite. Last, the last, last of the best episode. of the episode. Because <laughs> I kind of expected you to have a bit of a longer episode, a long one like your last one. Yeah, well, our stories kind of kept uh, short. Kept anyway, short okay, let's begin. So, uh, since. Let's start from the beginning. So, let's go six months after the cannibalistic incident. Okay. Okay, my sister got a new hamster. It was a- it was an albino white hamster, like, it was just like a bigger hamster. And she named it Lucy. She loved Lucy with all her heart. And, oh okay, yeah, at this time we also did have a cat. We got- we have a cat at this time now. She is- the, she was the mother cat, and she... She has not had her babies yet, so... Let's just keep that in mind. Okay, mm -hmm. so, Lucy... She was a complete bitch. Right. She was an utter bitch. Like, I was- I, I was petting her. So, then she bit me. <laughs> Wait, she, your cat did or your hamster? Ha the, hamster. the hamster. I, I was just scratching her, you know, like how everyone else did. Oh, and she started, God. like, she literally started gnawing on my fingertip. Like, I heard crunching in my fingertip when she bit me. Ugh. Like, you know that crunching when you bite into cereal? Um, I don't want to think about it. Well, I was, she crunched, she crunched. You crunched and then crunched and then crunched. Yeah, and, and I had I had like three holes coming out of my fingertip, just like you know, squirting blood, just like, fount like you know, a little blood fountain. Mm -hmm. Like I could run my own blood drive if I wanted to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, sounds painful. Yeah. So I clean it off, and there's just you know a little a little hamster-sized buck tooth hole in there. I was like, oh, that's pleasant. And. Oh, it's not pleasant. That is not a pleasant. It's called sarcasm, Connor. Look it up. I mean, I'm Glory <laughs> One. I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to say that. You don't understand my sarcasm. When I rewatched my video, I said so many things that you just didn't understand were jokes. Anyway, okay. I, oh, I got I got my twelve. Oh, I got my ten. I mean, oh, I died. Anyway, so. I just, every time I saw that hamster, I gave it the death stare. And then, it happened. My cat, Buka, the older, the oldest one, she had a litter of kittens. And, little did I know that those little bundles of joy would be my saviors. One day, when the kittens, when the kittens were, you know, old enough and stuff, they, and they could walk around the house, you know, with the dog not in the room, because, you know, my cat, my, Buka would literally beat the shit out of the dog. Like, Buka's a small cat, compared to, like, other cats, and yep. my dog Bouncer, he is a, he's a large golden achiever. And, my dog was terrified of it, of her. So anyway, the kids are able to walk around the house now, and they are, and about four out of the seven that's that survived, they got into Janine's room. Jean's my sister, in mm -hmm. case you guys didn't know. They got into her room, and Lucy got out of her cage. I saw that Lucy wasn't out of her cage, and I see I hear rustling under the, under her bed. I pull out the kittens, and I see something I see something brownish white crawl hobbling around under there. That's I pull it out and I see the I see Lucy, the the de the d demon hamster, dust bleeding to death. <laughs> I had the greatest smirk on my face because I hated that thing. So I, I even despite my hatred for that evil, evil little thing, I put it back. I put it back in its cage. And I call my sister and mother, cause they, cause you know, sh they liked her for some odd, 
reason. Maybe it didn't bite them. It didn't. Mm. Uh, look at you, look at you. No. Yes. Got him. There's people behind you, you know. Yeah, I know I died. I was uh, just focusing on getting him. Derpy Cow. I mean, spider him. Kill him! Oh my god. So, Don't kill us. Lucy went from a bright snow white to a reddish brown. With some white patches. So I I call my I call my mother and sister, and tell them what happened. I t I tell them about the incident. But not not I didn't tell them that I had a giant smirk in my face the entire time though. Cause again I hated that hamster. Right. So my sister's like, Oh my God! You saved my darling little baby little Lucy. I'll love you forever. Something like that. I even though I told her multiple times that I did it because I lo I wanted to see that little demon suffer, and uh, and she did. For a whole week, she did not move except to drink and eat, which she ate, which she did very little of. And then it happened about a week after the incident. Lucy died. Interesting. That's amazing. So, my sister cried for about a week. She, she, she wrapped it, she wrapped Lucy up in a little plastic bag, put it in a plastic container, and she buried her. And I'm just like, I'm, and I'm just like, those kittens are the greatest things ever. <laughs> and I was like, thank the Lord. The, de the little demon yeah, is gone. Well, the like kittens, the saviors. That's the yeah. The, like our sa our savior, kitten Christ, the kittens of Christ themselves has has slayed the evil Satan hamster. And it was like ah, uh, and like once she died, a whole like weight was up on my chest. Like the crunching from her biting my finger was just gone. And I had a, I had a, I had, and all, everything that happened was because of them. It was all because of them. The little, little baby, little, little baby kitties. And I was just like, I can now, I can now sleep without, without having to have one eye open. Hi, you boo. He was not far, he was not part of the, of the, Lu of the Lucy destruction brigade no he was the second little of kittens oh okay but you know he, he saw he decapitated a bunny so what can you what can you do so that's my that's my last story oh, wait I have one more I just remembered it okay let's go back to douchebag Mike okay so his hams this is a quicker one We'll have to think of a different topic now, Ta Connor. Yep, yep. Anyway, so... Oh, my God. <laughs> we tapped it. We're not gonna win, though. Damn. Aww. Anyway... Oh, brain fart. Mmm, I, I... I just... My mind just went... Okay, yeah. I'm at Douchebag Mike's house. Mm-hmm. And one of the, like, uh, the older hamsters gets out. Okay, stop. I'll fi we'll finish this story when when you get back in a game of domination. Yep. So. See you guys. Oh, then. Bye. Okay, oh. and we're back. And right after I finish, let me continue my story. Connor, get booksmith buddy. Yeah, right. Two e l c k s m i t h. Okay. Oh, the so, thing didn't work. Oh, well. Uh, anyway. It's still the same pronunciation. Okay. Ooh, wait, we got triple coins. Oh, do we? Nice. Double tip. Okay. I'm not tipping that. Nothing. I'm I like to get the common me. experience. Anyway. So, I'm at, I'm at Douchebag Mike's house before he became a douchebag, and he was just known as Mike. And one of the, one of the adult hamsters gets out, and they had this old cat named Adonde. 
Adonde? And she... I know a YouTuber named Adonde. Yeah, his name's like Swoozy, yes, right? Yeah, yep. <laughs> so, Adonde was a very old cat. Like, she was, she was blind, she was deaf, going deaf and blind at the same time. Mm-hmm. And, but, you know, she still had a like, pretty good s smell for a kit for a cat. Like she was like she my uh, from what I heard her Mike's mother said that she was like twenty years old when she died. So that's that's pretty old. Yeah. Anyway, so one of the uh, so like one of the adult hamsters gets out and Adonde eats it. And I I picked I picked her, I picked up Adonde listening to see if the hamster was still alive in there. Like twenty minutes, being like, "Are you in there? Hello? <laughs> if you there, say something." Hello. So yep, that's that's pretty much the story. That's it. That's the. That's yeah. The it's like my story, short, sweet, and to the point. I yeah, but I still had two. I saw two of them though. Yeah, I, I saw two of them. Anyway, next topic, Connor. What is it? <laughs> Broken bones. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, twice. Now, Con, explain the topic to those people who you know have been living under a rock for the past for the past millennia. Oh, me because I've never broken my bone technically. Um, we're just gonna talk about broken bone stories. Is that what you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, broken bones. They're cool. You first. Okay, my friend was uh, me. We wanted to build a fort. So, he took it upon himself to climb a tree. Um, so halfway up that tree, he fell. Um, on his way down, we, uh, he wanted to stick his arm out to, you know, support his fall. And, of course, he broke his arm. You know? This guy's hitting his own team just in the last video! Is that it? Yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. He broke his arm. Okay. And now, Connor, I have an assortment of stories to tell. Pick, an pick the first one that you want me to tell. Do you want the funny one, Doesn't hilarious matter. one? I want the best. Or can. the one, or the one where I broke my bone. The one where you broke your bones, definitely. First. Okay. Let's let's put it back into a setting. I it's I just got my just got a sco I just got my first Razor scooter. And I was like, oh my god, I got a scooter. I'm like the cool kid on the block now. <laughs> you can, you can, if you want, you can look at it, but you can't touch. Because, no, you know, it's I mine. I have Razor scooter. Anyway, so, we go to my grandparents' lake house the next day after my grandparents, and they have this really big hill that's like, it's built on, and it's pretty steep. And I'm eight years old. Got my scooter, and I go, and right in the morning, I wake up, and I pull my, I, like, jump my mom, telling her to get out of bed. Mm -hmm. She gets a like coffee, that? and I go down into the driveway with my scooter, and... <sighs> going. <laughs> yeah, with my scooter, and my brother's following, following me, because, you know, he's a little stalker back then. Mm -hmm. Right, Jason? He's nodding in agreement. <laughs> Definitely, I agree. Yeah. So, like most eight-year-olds, you never want to wear your helmet. So, you know, I didn't. Mm-hmm. So, I go down the hill on my scooter, and I'm like, and I saw, I gained speed, like, super fast, and once I go down, start going down, I realized that I made a big mistake. Yeah, so you fall, I'm assuming? I uh, No. I, I tried turning, cause I either if I go if I turn if I turned right, I would end up going down a steep flight of stairs. <laughs> if I turned left, I would go down another hill. So, like most people, so I turned left, cause you know that would probably be the more safest way. But since it was only a scooter, I couldn't turn. I couldn't, you know, go Daytona. I couldn't Daytona drift it, or you know, Tokyo drift it style. So I, t I try turning, and I go smack into a tree. 
Like, it's a I'm big, like, a, like a thick tree. Just like, oh, okay, they're taking on the Like, imagine going like 30 miles per hour and just, you know, getting, like, hitting a tree. That's kind of scary. I don't want to imagine that. Like, oh, you know, I, you I, know I, those Tom and Jerry episodes where, like, Tom gets, like, hit by a fence post and he just, like, goes, like, still? Yeah. Pretend that happened to me with a, with a big tree. Wow. So, I'm still walking. I'm, I am I wasn't crying because, you know, I was manly. I'm manly. Yeah, right. Yeah, obviously. I, I, I wasn't crying, though. Like, I was holding my arm, just saying, ow, ow, because I, I couldn't move my right arm. Like, I, like, my shirt was ripped. And it was like my favorite shirt back then, so you know, I was devastated when I found out that it was gone. Mm-hmm. Oh. I had scratches along my left arm and my face. <sighs> and and your arm was ended up being broken? Yeah, so I go to the hospital and I also got a concussion and I was I wanted to just sleep for like six at and I couldn't sleep for six hours. So, because your arm broke? Yeah, cause, and I had a concussion. Oh. So, I I couldn't even go on my cast yet, so I had to go back to Massachusetts to get my actual cast. But, you know, I got a lot of chicken nuggets that, that weekend. Oh, nice. From Wendy's. It's always a bonus. Yeah, I know. What? They still have this? So that's how I broke my arm. Mm-hmm. Now I got now what now, do you want the hilarious, funny, or just hilarious. stupid it's one? Straight hilarious. Okay. So this is a bit shorter, but this is how my sister broke her arm. Mm-hmm. We were at a carnival, like you know you know the carnival in like your hometown every yeah. week, every year for fourth of July? I don't wanna say your hometown, like the name, but you know where you live. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my sister was there, and she was she just got off one of the one of the, like the bobsled ride, and she just walked with a fence, and she trips, she trips on a wire, and she falls on her arm. On a wire, like on the ground. Yeah. She, she's stupid, right? Like, <laughs> how do you not know where you're going? Just straight like, down. Um... Yeah, I know. She's like, oh, like a while, I'm just not gonna pay attention. Face plant. Woo! Oh, cat walk is on. I'm sorry. Okay. So that's how my sister broke her arm. Yep. Getting pretty short. Now, do you want funny or other funny one? <laughs> I want whatever you've got. Okay, so this is how my older brother, Jason, broke his arm. Your older brother? You have an older brother? My, like, the older of my little brothers. Okay. He's the twin brother of Janine. So, he broke his arm before I broke mine. So he was probably, I want to say, six? Maybe seven. Anyway, it was, it was Labor Day, I want to say. It was the day we didn't have school. Okay. And I am. Uh, oh god, I'm being chased. Oh, that's such bogus. Anyway, focus, focus. Yeah. Up. And like, like when we're all kids, what's the one thing we like to do with girlfriends? Pretend we're Spider-Man. Pretend we're Spider-Man. I was like, I don't know, do I like to hit my head off of it? Or yeah. I don't know, what am I supposed so, to do? So, my grandmother was there, and... Ooh, someone is named Jurassic Park. That's a nice name. <sighs> so, my grandmother's here, and my brother wanted to show... Show my grandmother what he can do by climbing up the wall, and... Like most kids, I like to be, I like to I like to run around. So I'm running around, and as he's being Spider-Man, I run under the door frame, and that's right when he jumps off, and he lands on my shoulders. But since he wasn't gripped around my ground my shoulders, he falls forward while I'm still running. 
and he lands on his arm and he's and he's bawling his eyes out. Like he could like he like cried himself a river. That's that's insane. Yeah, so that's how he broke his arm. Did you just die? No. Oh we got my fifteen. And now the last one. How how my youngest brother died. Not died, not died. <laughs> not died. But broke his arm. Yeah, right. So I wanna say he was either three or four. And he broke his arm by falling off a television. Wow. I but, fell off a television once. But hang on, let me explain how he fell off a television. So we just got a new TV in our de in like the kids' room. <sighs> mhm. Mm Ugh. So he took the old TV and put it on the floor. Right. And it it was one of the box TVs, so it, you he sat on it a lot because he wasn't heavy. Okay. okay. And. He he falls out. He's just saying like, "Yay! I like chips. Chips like me. Chips, chips, chips. Look at me." <laughs> okay. He's like standing up, dancing on it. Then he falls. Amazing. He lands like right between. He lands right in a door frame. Not the same door frame. Not the same one. <laughs> what would be funny if it was? That would be amazing. Yeah, but oh, it, it was almost like it went into the same room. He just dances on top and falls off. And yeah, and he breaks his arm. Um, um, all right, guys. Like we wanted to tell everyone, you know. You want to tell? You want to share your stories? With no, everyone? we didn't. My parents wanted people to say that he fell. He fell off a TV. That he, but he fell off a couch. Oh. I still said. I still told them anyway. Right. But, so um, I have twenty something weapons to un unbox. So I'm gonna do that. I have 12. I have... Epic. We're going epic! Nice. How much do I have? I have 24. Do them all. Now slow. Slow them down. Now fast up. And nothing. Connor, yeah. I got I got a complete set now. Can you craft a uh, legendary yet? I know, yeah, I haven't moved them, but look at my new, look at my new epic. Okay. It's for, and guess what class it's for? You're Steve, by the way. It's um for me. No, Aquamanta. Aquaman. Oh, it's for you. I know. Uh, but I'm, 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 I'm going to dismantle it. Why? It's I, for your class. I don't need. I don't. I'm. I'm probably not going to get an Aquamanta for a while. Oh. So Wait, that's not your class. I forgot. I'm. Gonna, I'm not going to get rid of that yet. But let's dismantle this. Maybe I almost this. have 150 void shards. Too bad I'm not level 15. That was actually good for me because I was able to get a couple more games in on my weekly. I can craft an epic now. So now yeah, let's craft okay. another epic. Yeah, let's go to Power Man, so now. So who have we decided is going to do the outro? Well, I did the outro last time, didn't I? Because I did my own outro, and then you did your outro. Oh, yeah. So well, I did, the, I did the intro this time, so I think you should do the outro. Right. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, not yet though. Let me finish crafting. Mm-hmm. I got the Gladiator's Qatar. The Gladiator's Qatar. It's, it's even better than it's even better than my axe corner. Is that what it looks like? Hold it. Let me see it. Oh it's <laughs> that so tiny. It's my best epic though. It's so tiny. <laughs> It does, but it does so much more damage. It does 123 damage now. Wow. Okay. So, what? How much damage? 123. Is that max? I don't know. Did you just hear something? Yeah, there was a firework that just went off in the uh, background. But like, the gladiator's normal goose of the power man. Wait, wait, wait. So it says damage. Like, a number through another number. What's 90 the to number? 123. Okay, 90. <laughs> Well, my gladiator's normal goose of the power man, sir. Only does 90 to 121. See, has goes 100 to 135. Like, it literally has the exact same stats, except for except for cooldown reduction. It's 4%. And the, for my Qatar of the power man, sir, it is only 3%. Wow. 
Yeah, I'm gonna save this legendary I have and just reskin it to something because this thing is beast. It's for an aqua, oh, but it's beastly. I knew this would happen, Connor. What? The game chose me. Guess how many void shards I have now. You have a 99? Yes! <laughs> I uh, I really don't want to wait for you though. Like I really want to get a legendary. You don't want to do that in the same video? I want to, but like you better hurry up. I'm trying really hard. Like, I, we we I need a level 60 by. Yeah. I, I still need to get another void shot. So you st so you still have time. Anyway, outro, Connor. All right. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video. Uh, please support both of our channels, which uh, nothing but rags is gonna be in the description. Uh, it helps us both out every single time. We'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye. Have fun. If you enjoyed, like, favorite, and subscribe. Woo.